Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everybody, Adam Harry from Bell Lost Souls here with Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Michael, what'd you guys bring today? Well, today this is the uh, new board game Mombasa. Ooh, that's pretty fun to say. Say it again. Say it again. Mombasa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. this is this is a new game from R and R Games. Uh, it's set in sort of the 18th century, playing okay. as um, you know shareholders and trading companies, uh, managing resources. There's a lot of different mechanics to take care of. Cool. Well, it sounds pretty interesting, and this is a this is. A strategy game. Mm -hmm. uh, you said oh, there's a lot of mechanics. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a super heavy strategy game. Not that, that should deter you or anything, but <laughs> there's all sorts of different mechanics. There's trading, card drafting, worker placement, area wow. control. Everything you can basically imagine in a game is probably here. So it's just like everything, kitchen sink thrown in, but yeah, it's, kind it's, of. it works. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely very well received. People love it, the way every cool. mechanic works together, so it's definitely something to check out. Right, so if you're looking for everything game, check this one out. Oh, yeah. This does run a little bit longer because of the strategy elements? Yeah, it, it runs you know roughly two to two and a half hours or so, depending. Uh, it's four, two to four players, 12 up, all that stuff. We can get into that, of course. Right on. We pop it open. Let's, uh, let's jump into this box. All right, let's open up. Mombasa. Mombasa. It's just fun to say. It's a, yeah, it's a fun name. Mombasa. It's a real right. place. Would you like to do the honors I today? I would love to. Let's flip it over. Take a look at the back real quick. I like yeah. you showed. All your components, of course. And R&R Games, Mombasa. Mombasa. East Africa Trading. Real cool. Uh, all the different mechanics and stuff yeah. that are going on in this game. I mean, you mentioned really nice how they all work. All the crazy bluffing, trading, mm -hmm. uh, resource management, worker, worker placement, placement all, that. Yep. all that fun stuff. Those things always get the uh, the strategy guys going. Yeah. So. Let's just all right. crack it open. Here we go. So of course, you got your rules insert as always. Oh, yeah. pretty, it's a nice little uh, cheat sheet there. Yeah, pretty front. pretty hefty rules to be honest with you. But again, we said pretty heavy strategy game, so a lot of stuff to yeah. keep track of. Full yeah. color, nice all big of... overblown format too, mm -hmm. so really easy to read and, and flip through. So that's cool. We got all our uh, player boards and things like that. And these are sort of front and back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some players. It's two to four players. Yeah, all the different boards and things. Yeah. You got all your different tokens, currency. Cool. Your average sort of stuff you'll be seeing in strategy games. Yeah, all right. I believe these are the um, the trading company sort of tracks okay. for watching your stocks and things it like that. It looks like they I'm kind fairly of sure. clip in here at some point. Yeah, there should so. be four of them that clip together yep. uh, to surround the board, basically. Okay. You get, of course, all your different bags. I just want to point this out, too. Like, companies that include the extra plastic bags, Thank you. Best because, companies in the world. Yeah, because honestly, there's so many board games out there where they're just like freeform. Having mm -hmm. these bags makes cleanup a yeah, snap. I mean, snap. like you look at this box, not much of an insert, just, you know, yeah. buy things. The bags fix all of that. Right, so that cuts down on waste too. So that's just environmentally of, friendly or whatever. Different deck of cards here for <laughs> different effects, of course. What would you call these meeples? Uh, I I necessarily would not call them meeples because they're not shaped they're like not peoples. They're not all peoples, that's true. Uh, I would just call them tokens, but tokens. you can call them meeples if you want. That's up to you. That's on you, yeah. That's on you, <laughs> viewer. <laughs> that's cool. So you get a bag of tokens. We'll yeah, call uh, they're wooden, like, by the way. I don't know if yeah, you guys can tell, but wooden different painted. color wooden uh, things. So pretty pretty tough and durable. That looks like a scorpion. Don't eat those. Um, oh yeah, cool. You know, a lot of a lot of different sheets for different play. Look, yeah, I love this sort of thing. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I love Seven Wonders because okay. they include the score pad for you. That sort of stuff always yeah yeah always enjoyable for me. And then these are nice little cheat sheets, one for each player. Rules like. reference, of course. Yep, always handy. Different again, some more different play mats and things like and that. And then your let's look at the board real quick. Big giant board. All right, here we go. Flipping it out. Flipping out like a ninja. Here we go. Okay, so again, you can tell yeah, your, here your different your different sort of settlements and trading African things like continent, that. Yep. Cape Town, Mombasa is over here. Saint Cairo Louis and Saint Louis. So different different sort of areas to control, like we said. Different places for cards and worker placement. There's all sorts of stuff in this game. Wow. So yeah, it's it's it is complicated. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hide that fact, but it is it's strategy, a lot yeah. of fun. If I you're mean, into if you're into the big strategy games, this is definitely a good addition to the library. Awesome. Cool. Well, let's hop out for a really fast recap. All right, real quick recap for Mombasa. 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 <laughs> I'm never going to get tired it's of saying it. It's a great name. Yeah. yeah. So again, uh, this is from r, &R Games. Yeah, it's going to be $44.99. So, Very cool. Yeah, it's available now. Um, pick it up. Again, heavy strategy game for all you enthusiasts out there. Yeah. I would definitely say, like, perfect Saturday afternoon game. Yeah, Get definitely. some friends. One of those one of those things you, you sort of lead up Maybe to some barbecue. small games and then... There Big game, Mombasa. I think we'll get some dinner afterwards. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a fun day to me. Oh, yeah. Mombasa, go check it out. This has been another Tabletop Spotlight. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Souls. I'm Michael from Dragon Slayer Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching and have a great one. 
Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.